have panel discussion? I think it took me a couple of years to realize that it's not playing office politics. It's just showing the hard work you're doing. So it's not going to sit with people and then trying to chat them up and saying, you know, has your family and trying to butter them up to make sure that they promote you or advance you. It's actually doing work and then showing the work that you do. So I'll give an example. If you've done this really fantastic strategy document that sits in your inbox, or sits in your uh, flash drive or your hard disk and nobody ever sees it. It's really great work. It's, it, it's, I mean, doctorate degree type of work, but it's only going to be there smiling at you and you smiling at it and feeling proud of yourself every time you look at it. It's not going to help you advance in your career. It's not going to help you um, shine within the organization because no one has seen it. So, so the truth is, if you are doing good work, right? People have to realize that you're doing good work. You have to speak up when you have meetings to say, I have an idea. I think this idea is something that might help us move forward. Um, and and I'll, I'll, I'll try to be very brief, but I'll say how, first of all, I seldom use the word mentor. Uh, it's a very important word and it's a very important role. But I find that people can be intimidated by it sometimes. Uh, there's really no such thing as approaching someone and asking that someone to be your mentor. I've just found that in the course of my career, there have been women and men for that matter, who I have admired and gravitated towards and gotten along very well with and just found reasons to, to bond and share and learn from people. So there are quite a few people I regard, you know, technically speaking as mentors, but I, I seldom call them that. Um, how did I approach and sort of these are folks that I've come across uh, just in my career, in my education, in friendships, whose career paths, and it's not always about career, they can be in completely different careers, but oftentimes, if I find that we're aligned, whether from an ethical perspective or something else, and there's something I can learn from them, uh, we tend to bond and I can regard them as mentors. Awesome, thank you very much. So. Um, as each of us talking, I'm reminded of a concept in my book. I have a book called Building a Conscious Career, and I talk about fluid networking. And I feel like that really sounds like what she's saying, where it's just along with your career and your path, you're meeting people who are playing these different roles, either as mentors or as pairs. I want to reflect on the fact of what, what I think is more important in propelling your career. I do think it's my more senior uh, you know, folks who I would call mentors. What is probably more important in surviving or being happy in the career is probably my mentor and my peer support group. But in actually moving ahead, I would have to say it's, it's the mentor that I completely agree with you, Jamal. I also do not use that word. I think, especially now that I'm on the other side of it, I think it's very weird when someone approaches me and says, Can you be my mentor? I'm like, uh, Okay, <laughs> I don't know what, what that means. Uh, but in terms of uh, what, what I tend to do is look for opportunities to connect with people. And what that tends to mean uh, is being willing to push myself out, outside my comfort zone and try to find connections with people that I may not you know, ordinarily uh, associate with. Because if not, what, what you're going to find is that your mentor or your, the senior folks you're trying to associate with are just people that have exactly the same background as you. And, and that becomes a little bit difficult, right? What, what you want is to have a broad set of different types of people uh, that you, you know, that are sort of your board of directors for your career, right? That give you input and that pull you up.